This is one of my prized possessions. In case you've never seen it before, it's a very unique gun. Some people have actually seen these and have their own stories to tell, but I'm going to tell mine. This is Max Head Space 9mm, and ladies and gentlemen, this is the wonderful, awesome Calico M100. This is a 22 caliber rifle. It um, it's very small, very light, has a fairly short barrel. I'd say the barrel is about a foot long, and uh, it's a very lightweight gun. It holds 100 rounds in this magazine. It's a top-fed gun. The magazine removes just that easy. It's a helical magazine, so the bullets basically spiral round and round in this cylinder. And the way it works to load this, the bullets go one by one into here, and they go back this way to the back, and inside of that helix is a spring that provides the, um, the tension for the magazine. Once you have it full, you can unwind the spring and leave it uh, untensioned and then if you need it you wind it this way and if you want to take the tension off the spring you push this button and you can I don't know throw a few of these in your backpack and say you have four or five of these magazines you could you could have four or five hundred rounds it's an awesome little gun. It doesn't have a great reputation with some people though. When you talk to people about this, you will find somebody say, oh yeah, I had one of those and I got rid of it. And the reason why they got rid of it is they probably had feeding issues. One thing you've got to know about this and many other semi-auto 22s is the type of bullet that you use in it needs to be the black thunderbolt type bullet. Do not use copper uh, jacketed bullets in this gun. It'll it'll jam about every fifth or sixth round that way. So it is not designed for that. You need a semi-auto bullet and the black slippery bullets are the ones that work the best for this. So uh, it has adjustable sights it's designed to look a little bit like an AR-15, I think. And it has a buttstock that folds by pushing this up. And it comes out like that. And it's surprisingly comfortable. It looks like a torture device, but honestly, this is a very comfortable, easy buttstock to use. And it folds up. quite easily. Not, not, of course, now here I'm trying to do it and I'm forgetting how it's done. But that's all you do. Let me do that again just to make sure that I can remember. The truth is I don't shoot this gun hardly ever anymore and the reason is not because I don't love to shoot it. I love to shoot this gun. It's one of the funnest guns I own. But the problem is ammo. 22 ammo is so rare right now that I don't want to use up what I've got. I've got plenty, but it hurts me every time I pull the trigger on a 22 because I know how hard it is to find that stuff. So the way it works is you pull back on the charging handle right here. Your safety's right here. Of course, there's no bullets in it right now. Sights are on the top. And you can one-hand this quite easily like a pistol and shoot it that way if you want to or you can take out the buttstock but you've got a hundred rounds in this little gun the whole gun probably measures about two feet long and it only weighs about maybe four or five pounds and the interesting story about this gun is it was designed to be a military or police weapon they also make uh, variations of this that shoot nine millimeter and as such, I think it's a phenomenal idea, but the problem is it's so revolutionary, it just never seemed to really catch on. Um, the timing wasn't very good. 
um, what happened is they didn't get the contracts with the military that they were hoping for. And when they went to uh, produce these for the civilian market, along came the ban of 86, and the timing was not very good. They really didn't get many of these out into the marketplace before that ban came along. And so uh, from the stories that I've heard, the developer of this gun went bankrupt, and for a long time none of these were made. He sold the rights to some other manufacturer, and then eventually when the ban was list lifted, they started making them again. And now you can get all the replacement parts for these uh, from the factory, which is located in Oregon. And uh, you can get extra magazines, extra mag springs, anything you want. So they're back in business. The problem with this is it's 22, and of course 22 is in short supply. So again, timing isn't really great for this gun. And that's too bad, because it is a phenomenal gun. I can shoot hundreds and hundreds of rounds of this without a single jam. I can shoot it really fast, too, just pop, 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 that fast. It bump fires real easy, too. So um, this gun has a lot of features that put it on every gun ban list that's ever come down the pike. Um, when we had that list that uh, Diane Feinstein created of uh, 100 or so weapons that they wanted to make illegal for civilians to own, this was on there. It was, I think, as I recall looking at the list, the only 22 on that list. So, um, yeah, if you see one of these, don't be afraid to pick it up because it is a fantastic gun. If you can find 22 for it, you'll be very, very happy you have this in your arsenal. It is a lot of fun to shoot, very accurate, lightweight, easy to carry, and uh, parts are available and they're not expensive. So I'm happy to show this to you. I hope you've enjoyed looking at it. I wish I could let you shoot it. But this is a video and not real life, so uh, if uh, I can find enough 22, then I'll start shooting it again, and I'll have a grin from ear to ear. This is Max Headspace 9mm. Have a good one.